Oh guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a evil Malamar VMAX deck, and I say evil because Malamar VMAX can be a very evil and devastating card to play against as its attack. Max Jammer could do 180, then your opponent reveals their hand, you choose a card you find there, and you put it at the bottom of their deck. So if your opponent happens to have a small hand and they do have like one supporter in it and nothing else playable, you can take that supporter away from them and make them have to top deck out of their bad hand, which is insane. And we can actually do this very quickly thanks to Red and Blue and Weavile, allowing you to put a Weavile in play and then you can put two basic energies on your Weavile. They just gotta attach for turn. Another big upgrade this kind of archetype got was Cheryl, which is really cool. Of course, uh, Weavile can take the energy off of your Malamar VMAX, and then you can Cheryl and fully heal your Malamar VMAX, which is pretty powerful. So Cheryl makes this deck even funner and stronger. That's the deck, uh -huh. Malamar VMAX with Weavile. Very fun deck. It's always fun to play these Malamar decks. Um, I've, it's one of my favorite VMAXs to play. Um, so yeah, before the video, guys, of course, I do the sponsor card having TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGO pack codes, make sure to go get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes like Battle Styles or Shining Fates or when Chilling Rain goes live next week, you can get your Chilling Rain codes over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern will have them up and they might be up for pre-order. Make sure to keep checking the website. You can actually get email notified when they do go in stock. Um, and yeah, if you get any codes over at Car Cavern, of course, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout to help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Car Cavern. So big shout out to Car Cavern, check them out, use code LDF. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting over there too, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, so that, this is the list I got for the deck. Again, a lot of it relies on the Stage 1 GX Pokemon and Red and Blue. We are playing four tag calls in the deck. Um, we're trying to Red and Blue into a Weavile. Or Silvali, get two energy in play, attach for turn, and then go into a max jammer. And if we go first, we can do this without having to attach energy, because maybe we attach energy a turn earlier. Max jammer does combine really well into a couple other cards. Of course, big ones include a reset stamp. You can play your reset stamp and force your opponent into potentially like a small hand size, especially in the late game. Then we have Marnie. Marnie can be pretty cool too. You can Marnie your opponent to four cards, which can be pretty good too, combined with max jammer. And then we even have Umbreon on Dark Ride in the deck as like a backup attacker. Uh, Dark Moon could be pretty cool, too, when combined with Max Jammer. And um, then we got Mew, of course, for Urshifu. Two Crobat, or one Crobat, two Dedenne. A 2-2 two -two Savali line for that draw acceleration. And we got Malum, or Weavile. Yeah, that's the list, pretty much, for the Pokemon. Um, yeah, Cheryl really helps the deck quite a bit, allowing you to full heal. Your Malamar can be very cool. There's no research in the deck. We are playing 3 Air Balloon and 10 Dark Energy. No research whatsoever. We're just sticking, sticking to um, straightforward up here and uh yeah let's go try the deck out see in action maybe get some dubs and uh show off how evil and powerful malamar's hand locks can be all right here we go see if we win the coin flip this time we do not all right we just don't want to be going first this deck today which is not good not good at all okay we'll start with the uh, type null i guess uh, our hand's okay i guess uh we can red and blue to Silvali, but i want to go red and blue to weavile so Okay, we're playing against Mad Party. Oh. Hmm. Not sure about this matchup, to be honest. I don't know. We can maybe beat it. Um. I mean, I don't know if Malamar's Handlock will do much, though. We'll have to see. I guess Cheryl Weavile does carry a load in this matchup. Oh, I got something in my eye, bro. I don't know. We need to get a, we need to get a Sneasel down. This hand is not very good. You get a Sneasel... We gotta hope Type Null can take a hit too. That'd be great. We need to get Sneasel though. That's a big thing. We wanna to try to find Sneasel here if we can. Um, I mean, this is winnable. We have Cheryl. Handlock might be pretty good, to be honest. If we can take away their energy. I don't know. I feel like we're never gonna be able to efficiently handlock them though. I know that's ever gonna happen. Not looking ideal. We have to go Caleb Cynthia here, Tag Call. We need to find, we need to find a Sneasel. If we don't get a Sneasel, we're not going to be in a good spot. And we got to hope our Weavile is not prized again. That would also be good. Prizing Weavile would also suck. Yeah, my opponent, they're just finding a lot of stuff here. They are, they did lose Great Catch, which is good. That's what I was worried about, is like, having a Weavile in play, they could just go like, gust around it. Or gust around my Malamar. But now they can't do that anymore. Just, they are down a Great Catcher and a Boss's Order, so that makes me feel a little bit better. But they are unfortunately going to be able to probably KO me next turn. Which is kind of annoying. That's very rude of my opponent. The more prize they take, though, the easier it is to stamp lock them. So there is that we have going for us. 
Like, if we can ever get a turn where they don't attack me because we, like, Malamard them into, like, a bad hand and we took away an important card, that could be our saving grace. But the more Pulte guys they get into play, the less chances that will work. That's also a problem. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to handlock them. Oh, they play Crobat. They're really digging. I don't know what they're digging for, but they are digging. They don't have Exile anymore, so... Hmm, I could smell a boss KO in the future. Maybe. I mean, they might play Palpat. I forgot they might play. As I say that, they play the Palpat. So, yeah. Love to see it. Get back those Giovannis. Sure thing, bucko. Well, if we don't get a Sneasel here, I mean, it's not looking... We're, we're probably not going to win the game if we don't get a Sneasel. Because we need to get a we need to get a Weavile in play. I might just boss my Sneasel too, I guess. I could be pretty bad. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. See if we can draw into a quick ball calm or sneasel if not we have the caitlin cynthia and then hope those three cards bless us okay my opponent really doesn't like their turn ending hopefully they can end it soon because i think they've done enough yeah i don't think they need to do many more plays unless hmm. a marnie top pick would be great though actually i could take away their hand be nice okay hopefully they end their turn so i can actually play this game that'd be great be greatly appreciated another energy is not very good hmm then Lin. We'll get rid of the energy, I guess. I don't I want to keep the Ember Dark right. That could actually be pretty good. Alright, we do get the Sneasel. We actually get double Sneasel. Which is also good. I don't um, what are the chances they boss my Sneasel this turn? I don't know. Like we can just hold the hand next turn and get a Dene, which I kinda like a little bit more. So I think I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna hold the hand. I don't think they're gonna Marnie me. I have yet to play against Mad Party that plays Marnie. So I don't think we're gonna lose our hand, so. We'll see. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, uh, I wanna keep the calm for next turn so we can do like Dedenne or something, or even Silvali if all goes well. Um, if we actually survive the turn somehow, we can go Silvali. The only problem is if they do boss my Sneasel, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. But I guess if they do boss me, we can maybe go like drag off. Okay, no, we're not gonna get boss. I actually had to research their hand away. Oh, actually, they should have played the escape rope because everything on my bench I don't really want to have be in the active. Yeah, they should have played the rope because they could have two shot. My Malamar, because if I have owned a VMAX, they can two-shot it. So I'm actually fine with that. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Might have been the better play. We'll see what happens. Oh, they have Guru, too. Okay, that's actually even... Well, yeah, no. Guru counters me pretty hard, actually. Because I can just put a card on top of the deck and then just draw into it. So that makes things even worse. Yeah, I don't know about this matchup. We have to rely on Marnie and Stamp Luck, I think. That has to be the play. We have to hope that Marnie and Stamp... Give my opponent some bad hands. That's like our only chance of winning this. Alright, do they have a KO? They do, unfortunately. It's very rude of my opponent. Oh, we actually have to get a we have to get a Malamar. We have to still get Malamar VMAX. Maybe we can draw to Denner, Crobat, or Quick Ball. We still have a lot of draw outs we can get. Yeah, we can still draw quite a few cards here. We'll see if we can pop deck out of this. Hmm. Yeah, no. Not it. Right. Uh, we'll get rid of the Silvali. Probably want to keep Weavile. Okay, we do have the other one in the deck. Yeah, I have to like Crobat here or something. Fine. As long as we don't whip the Malamar V Max, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I do still want to get a Type Null in play. I can again we want to find Cheryl. There we go. Ooh, speak of the devil. We got Cheryl right off the rip. Um I'm gonna get another Sneasel here. Yes, sir. Type null could be good, but I do want to get Sneasel because I have a feeling Weavile might get bossed. Well, yeah, it'll probably it might get bossed. I have a bad feeling. They have a big hand, so I don't think Max Chamber is really gonna do much here, but we'll see. We'll hold the hand because we want to be able to Cheryl next turn. We'll see if Max Jammer can do any damage. Well, ooh. Okay, wow. We can take away the research. That's huge. I mean, again, they did do Primate Wisdom, so there's a good chance they draw into this anyways. Like, they probably anticipated the Max Jammer. That was a huge Max Jammer. They, their hand is actually not very good. Um, They have no other Pulte guys, so they can't dig with Key Break unless they did put something on top with Primate Wisdom. I was not expecting Max Jammer to actually potentially not have give my opponent nothing to work with. They have a triple and a Bunnelby, but they don't have the Bunnelby twin. I was not expecting that. I mean, they can still get, they can still see an extra card with Primate Wisdom. There's a, there's still a really good chance my opponent draws out of this. Yeah, there's a great ball. And that'll probably get him pulled, you guys. Yeah. I was not expecting that. As long as they don't gust me here, we will be able to Cheryl and heal our Malamar, which is good. 
And if they do gust my Weavile, we can... I don't know. We're getting closer to being able to stamp. That's the big thing. I do want to play Marnie too at some point. We need, yeah, we need to disrupt their hand. What am I bossing one of the Dedenne or Crobat at some point? That's not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. I think it's just going to be... They hit me here. We play Cheryl. And we hit them back. We hand lock them again. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe they don't even two-shot me. They mentioned another Sinesti. They must have a Rod. Oh, they have Rod in their hand, I'm pretty sure. So they'll hit me here. We go Cheryl. Hopefully no boss. Do they have a boss? No, I think they did have a boss in their hand. Hmm. Yeah, they might have had a boss. They might have had a boss. I can't remember, to be honest. I think I saw one. All I know is I saw a research bundle be triple energy and a Sinesti. They might have a boss in their hand. I think they did. I think they did. I, I, I'm I, pretty sure. I, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I, I can't remember, bro. I can look back at the video file, but I can't remember. Um, They do have a boss. Well, Weavile does have resistance to Psychic, so I actually don't think they can one-shot it. They're doing 60... 100. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna be able to kill Weavile. They can't even kill Crobat. So the most they could do is not get Sneasel. Let me just bench another one. See what they do. I think we're just gonna see Malamar get hit, and then we just go, whoop, Cheryl. Okay, no, they do have a boss. But yeah, they're not, not gonna Weavile. Uh, this does mean we won't get access to Cheryl, because we have to retreat. Oh, another Weavile. Look at that. Oh, we could Cheryl the Weavile. And go Cheryl Weavile the Dene. I mean, I mean they have a four card hand, so I actually kind of like this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't like benching the Dene though, but they are down a great catcher, so I'm not too worried. We need to move. There we go. Oof. We almost whiffed. Hmm. Kind of want to get another Malamar in play though, because I want to. I still need a Cheryl. We don't heal Malamar. Things get hairy. We have to hope we get lucky here. Which okay. What do I want to put away? I think it... Hmm. I don't think we want to go... I think the correct card is Mr. Rhyme. So if they get a Poltegeist, they can't draw any cards. So I think that's the correct Pokemon is Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, that's probably the correct Pokemon. Okay, nice. Now we can just retreat next turn to the Malamar. And then Sinlin for Cheryl. All right, cool beans. Right, if we can get one turn where they don't attack me, I think we're going to be far ahead. So we, we're going to be far enough ahead we can win the game. That's what I'm hoping for here is we get like a turn where my opponent can't do anything. Funny enough, if I didn't play the Cheryl last turn... Oh, no, they scoop. I was going to say, if I didn't play the Cheryl... If I didn't play the Cheryl last turn, we actually could have just went Sinlin for the Cheryl instead of Cheryl the Weavile. But, you know, what? it worked out in the end anyways. And look at that. Malamar somehow was able to handlock them. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I thought my opponent was going to beat me, but we got him. All right, here we go. Let's get into another match. Can we win the coin? But we do this time. All right. This is good. We definitely want to be going first with a deck like this. Well, we are up against Pika, though, so I guess they can go turn one Boltund. And we actually can't one-shot Boltund. Which I guess is kind of annoying, but, uh, I don't know. We at least get to set up this time. It's chilling. Um, okay. All right. Not a bad start. The only thing we're missing is a red and blue. Hmm. Okay. Let's calm the Sneasel. I'm going to get a type null, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to go Silvali next turn. We don't have a red and blue play this turn. We have four tag call on the deck. So we'll see if we can find we might maybe we have to did Dene or Crobat next turn, actually. We also didn't get energy down, which is bad, because they probably play crushing hammer. Hmm. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully we can uh live the turn. Well, I think we will, but the big thing is we need to get a red and blue. They might Marty me too. Might not, they might Marty me, which could be pretty good too. We'll see, though. Yeah, Pika. Yeah, I mean, we could beat this. Maybe. Maybe. Please, please go easy on me, Mr. Tag Team, Mr. Overpowered Pokemon. Um, we'll see if they get a Bolt Hunt here. Best case scenario, they don't. We really want to hit this Mewtwo for 180 if we can, too. Just get the damage on this big fat thing. That'd be great. I'm around Darkrai, I guess, is pretty good in this matchup, too, because it is a GX heavy deck. So we actually do get some value out of using Umbreon Darkrai. Okay, they are going to Marnie me. All right. That's good. All right. That could help us find red and blue and maybe potentially other cards. Oh, okay. Nice. This is actually a really good hand. We get rid of our top deck. I think we're at the red and blue with Silvali in play, actually. I was thinking we go Weavile. No, we have to go Silvali here. Yeah. 
this will folly. Hmm. Oh, Raichu. Yeah, Raichu's a problem. We don't play... Well, we have Maulana, I guess. But that's going to get discarded here, so that's not good. Okay, they're digging. Will they get the Bolt Hunt here? Oh, maybe not. Okay, nice. So we hit the Mewtwo. That'd be great. Another Malamar. We're gonna have to, we have, we're gonna have to go, uh, what's his face? We're gonna have to go, uh, we have to go into Silvali here. We, then we have to find a Weavile, which I think we can find. But you have to go Silvali because we want to be able to also evolve into Malamar. Then we can draw cards. Yeah, I think this plays out. As long as we don't draw poorly, we have Quick Ball to fall back on, but we'll see what we get. Perfect. Beautiful, perfect hand. Literally the perfect cards. The energy, the air balloon, the quick ball. All right, you'll love to see it. Let's go. Thank you, Peace Joe, for giving me the good hand. All right, here we go. So we get here off of this. Okay. The retreat. Move the energy here. I wouldn't mind getting Cheryl soon. I actually don't know if they're going to attack me, though. I think I'm just going to hold the hand here and then just max jammer. Because next turn I want to paint probably Caitlyn Cynthia for the Malolana. Let's see if we can take away any good cards. Nice. We get rid of the Marnie. Now they're stuck in top deck mode. What are the chances my opponent drops out of this? Let's be... Come on. No top deck. No whammy. They're down two to Dene, so... The evil Malamar comes out on top. Easy peasy, bro. Pikaram, bro. Overpowered broken tag team cards, bro. Who? Bro, what? No, you can't stand up to Malamar, bro. How, how are you going to defeat a giant Calamari? Okay, here we go. Into another match. And we won the coin flip. All right. Let's see if we can get another uh, turn one... Or turn two Malamar going. Um... Hmm, close enough. Another scenario where I think I want to get a Silvali. So we want to draw into a Pokey. No, we can play Tag Call. As long as I'm bringing Dark Rise, not Prize, we can use the Calm with that. We're playing against Inteleon. Sure. So we want to go Malamar. Yep, I'm bringing Dark Rise. Please don't be prized. Oh my. No, bro, it's prized. The one time I said don't be prized. Oh, no. Uh, now we're in top deck mode. No, bro. Dang it. All right. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I guess we just grab another red and blue. I don't know. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> that was the worst thing that could have happened. With the red and blue next turn. I mean, it's not looking good. We have to draw a Pokemon here if we're going to want to be able to do anything. And we can still potentially get my opponent in with a turn one Malamar. It's still possible, but not looking good so far. That's a very unfortunate prize. That was a very, very unfortunate prize. Well, hopefully my opponent doesn't play Crushing Hammer either. That's something I am a little scared of too. Hmm. Okay, they they do have Inteleons also. They actually have a lot of draw outs to my lock. It's not going to be like that one game against uh, Pika where they... We're able to easily dry out of it. So they actually do have some disruption. Or they Not disruption. They do have some uh, potential easy ways to stop me from hand locking them. Thanks to their uh, Inteleon and Drizzles. Okay. What do we top deck here? Perfect. All right. We're in the game still. Um. Yeah, do this. Get rid of these two. How many balloons do we got? We got three. Hi. Right. We're chilling, bro. Yeah, hopefully we can get in here. Oh, I should have checked to see if we have Mew in the deck. Okay, it's in the deck, All right? Yep. Definitely don't want Mew to be prized. We could go Crobat. Yeah, I think we go Crobat. I want to try to go Crobat and Dedenne. I think Crobat's in the deck. Yeah. I'm going to try to go Crobat and then Dedenne. We want to just dig and dig. We need a draw. We need to get Malamar, Air Balloon. All right. Not bad. We also want to get... uh. We going to get Mew. That's our second stamp. So now we have no stamps left. That's unfortunate. All right. Balloon... Oh, no. We whiffed the air balloon. That's really bad. All right. That's a pretty big whiff. Yeah, not good. I guess we just hard retreat. I don't think they play Crushing Hammer, though. So I guess this is fine. I don't think they play Crushing Hammer. Um, We could bench the other Malamar. We can't bench Mew if we do that. I think we just max Jammer. Well, we could bench Mew. I don't know what I, I don't really want to quick ball waiting cards in my hand. I think we just we'll do max jammer. I also we need to get a Silvali in play. I think we just go max jammer. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I was figured they had multiple ways. Yeah, that's the problem. They have multiple ways to get out of my hand lock. They just go drizzle, but we'll take 
actually maybe we should have taken away the air balloon actually i don't think there's any cards to be honest that really were worth taking away i think just i don't know maybe we should have taken away the we could have maybe kept the drizzle in their hand because maybe they have to research here yeah maybe we should, actually yeah maybe we should have just taken away like the air balloon of the water energy i honestly don't think it really mattered what we took away there to be honest i really don't think it mattered um none of those cards were like super relevant maybe yeah we probably should have taken we should, we should have let them keep the drizzle because they might just go with a research here, but they might also Marnie me too. Yeah, see? Yeah, it didn't really matter what I took away, but I guess taking away their drizzle like that makes it easier for them to find it. I don't, but that goes to the bottom of the deck. I don't think it mattered. Like, I think I'm overthinking it. I actually don't think it mattered what we took away with that at all. Did we look at here? Ooh, they sent me a sad face. And we got Cheryl. That's huge. We got, we got my girl Cheryl here. We're not going to play it, obviously, but we can... Well, we'll see. Eh, no, they can't two-shot me just yet. The sad face is interesting. Yeah, the smaller their hand gets, the better, too. Makes it easier to max jammer, maybe. I don't think they got the Inteleon VMAX here. No, they actually have to go into Drizzle, which... If we can find Inteleon, there's a Mew. Ooh. I think we're, gonna, we're just going to bench that. We're just going to go for the max jammer. We're just going to hold the hand because we got Cheryl. So if they hit me here, we got Cheryl. Ooh, lots of stuff to take away here. Uh, we'll take away the level ball so I can get Sobble or Frostmoth. Yeah, it's probably correct. Bucket would have been okay too, but I do think we take a level ball. They can't go, uh, can't go Inteleon or whatever. Or, yeah, Frostmoth. All right, now they're hand locked. So that's the nice thing about this deck. It's like if your opponent isn't able to get much going in their hand and they can't kill Malamar, like you can just hand lock them super easily. And it's like, okay, well, they do an Inteleon. Glad I took away the level ball. <laughs> Glad I took that away. Um,. But yeah, it's like, you can just see, like, if their hand ends up just getting super small, they can't, like, your opponent just, they have to pray they get multiple cards in their hand that can get them out of a hand lock. And if they don't, they're hand locked and they gotta pray on their top deck. Um, that's the nice thing about this deck. Um, can we just max jammer again? Yeah, I'm not really feeling anything else. Don't really want to play Caitlyn Cynthia. I'd rather use it for Cheryl. Uh, we'll take away the bucket. Now they gotta draw out of this even more. We might see another concede here because, I mean, that'll happen. When you hand lock them, they'll probably end up conceding. So the games might be quick. Uh, but let's see if they draw. If they draw an energy, again, we're just going to go Cheryl. We'll see if they do top deck an energy here. They have to top deck something to get a better hand. There we go. Evil Malamar. And if they did attack me, we would have just went Cheryl. Hit. So, yeah. Not much my opponent could really do there. And that's the uh, power of Malamar hand lock. All right, here we go. Heads. Okay, we won the coin flip. Thank heavens. We're up against Urshifu. Single strike Urshifu. That's actually bad. They can one-shot my Malamar. Um, yeah, that's not good. I mean, really, it'll come down to how good their start is. I think that'll be good, but... Not the greatest. And uh, well, we need to get a good start here to keep up. Mm, this hand's okay. I think we did Dene, to be honest, because... Yeah, I don't know if Cheryl has much value in a matchup where they could just one-shot my Malamar. You know, we have, to, we have to body them before they set up, but it's not looking good. Okay, Type Null is a good top deck, so we can go attach. We can do double calm here, which... Yeah, I think we do. I wouldn't mind benching Type Null, though, but I do think we double calm, because I at least do want to get set up a little bit, so... We are going to go double calm. We're going to get to Dene. We're just going to dump the hand. We don't really need Cheryl in this matchup. Unlike the, the other matchups, it was good, but this matchup, they can one-shot me. Um, got no tag call. Get rid of Caitlyn, Cynthia. We'll get Type Null. We'll just chill out for a turn, I guess. Yeah, and then next turn, we'll have the Crobat and hope we find tag call or draw one or draw a Silvali. We'll see. I mean, our start's not bad, to be honest. Honestly, best start we could have asked for. But we need... Tag call. Honestly, maybe I should have quick balled away the Marnie. Oh no, they're playing a Victini deck. Okay, that changes everything. Does it? Oh, now my Sneasel might get bodied. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> no, don't do it to my Sneasel, bro. What did he ever do to you? What did my Sneasel ever do to your big bad Reshizard? Okay, if Sneasel gets knocked out here, we're going to be back. We're going to be set back another turn. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I was, I mean, I didn't retreat because I was fully, I was just expecting to be playing Urshifu. But uh, I was wrong, as you can see. And we're going to get completely outskilled by a, a Dempozar, by a, a Double Blaze Knockout. 
Yeah, oh, yes, yes. Outskilled, bro. Outskilled. Absolutely outskilled. I mean, the chance they whiff a welder here, like 1%. If they do with Welder, though, I think they with the knockout, I'm feeling really good. Because I actually wouldn't mind punching the Rushy's hard. Now I regret losing that Cheryl now. I just expected to be playing Urshifu. They clickbaited me. All right. Please do not dock me. They're also bench locked. So they have to just draw into the Welder and two energy to knock me out. So that's good. Maybe they don't. Like, we just have to hope they don't draw Welder. If they don't draw Welder, we can maybe pop off. We'll have to see. Please let my Sneasel live. Come on. Don't do it. Don't cheese me. Okay, that's fine. We'll give him... that. That's fine. Let me protect Sneasel. They did get a Volcanion, though, which is annoying. I don't think they play Six of Goon, though, so I don't think they get a one-shot of Malamar VMAX. Oh, they don't even have anything. Okay, nice. Um, we just play everything here, I think. Yeah, yeah, So we can go Quick Ball for Crobat. We just gotta... I mean, we should... I mean... I don't know. We'll see if we if we don't. Where do we have Silvali and Red and Blue? I mean, please give us what we're looking for. That's all I ask. Beautiful. Perfect. Absolutely mint. Uh, I'm just going to play the Red and Blue. I don't really want to... Yeah. We'll play the Red and Blue. I maybe should have gone rid of Dene, kept the tag call for Caitlyn Cynthia. Do we even have another Caitlyn Cynthia? We do. We don't have our other Cheryl, though. What am I getting out the prizes here? But we do get to go for the handlock play. Oh, yeah, okay, nice. We're, we're vibing, bro. This is an absolute vibe. Here we go. Disreload. There we go. Got Sinlin for next turn. Um, We do have another Quick Ball. I might... Do I ever want to get another Malamar here? I don't think they're going to KO me, so I don't think we do need another Malamar. No, actually, I think we do, because we do at least want to probably... We won't have another Dedenne now to play, so... But we have Silvali, so it's fine. Yeah, because they could hit me with Victini, and then we want to go to the other Malamar and just do that. All right, cool. Shara will be the best card off the prizes here. Um, okay, yes, sir. Get rid of that Crobat. Yes, sir. So they're in top deck mode now, so that's good. They're in top deck mode. Okay, call. Okay, no Cheryl. I guess we have Malana. That doesn't make a difference, though. So. Yeah, now they're in top deck mode. Will my opponent draw out of their uh, top deck here? Here we go. I don't think so. I don't think I only had one energy, so they didn't get a welder, so we know that much. Nice. Um, oh, they could... No, they can't double blaze me next turn. So we're chilling, and look at that Malamar top deck. All right, yeah, this is a perfect turn just to go Kaylin Cynthia here. Uh, get rid of this tag call for the Cheryl, for sure, for sure, for sure. Their energy's good. I'm actually gonna put... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna move the energy around just in case they hit me with, like, a... They could boss my Weavile here in KO. So here we go, Max Jammer once again... Let's see what we got in their hand to take away. Definitely gonna be the energy, I think, for sure, for sure. Now they can't draw a welder. All right, look at that. We're hand controlling them. We have Cheryl. If they hit me with Outrage here, we'll see if my opponent has anything. They're in top deck mode, and that is what we like to see when playing the Malamar handlock. Look at how evil it is when this deck actually sets up. And I mean, it could set up because we're it's doing well. There we go. Just an Outrage. Yep. Yeah, then we're gonna Cheryl. Another energy. So we just go move the energy. We could actually sponge a hit and then Cheryl both Malamars. Um, I don't think that's necessary, though. I think we just Cheryl this. We could the other Cheryl off the prizes, you know? I think this is just fine. We just put all the energy right back on the Malamar. I think it's fine just to do this, you know? We have Marnie, too. If they do draw to this, uh, we have a Marnie to hit them with, which is pretty cool. And we'll just reload for one... Their energy, sure. Alright, Max Jammer. So I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. We still have to knock out one more three prizer to win the game. Um, but we'll see. Take away the fire crystal so they can't draw a welder. And uh yeah, best prizes would be the Cheryl we might have prized. There it is. First prize. You'll love to see it. Red and blue, number two. Another Malamar. Alright, Cheryl's really good though. I don't even know what my opponent does here. I mean, they have to probably feed me Victini. It's something the only thing they can take a hit that they don't want to probably well no. We have, we just knock out one more Dedenne. Oh, we just win if we find boss. What am I saying? Yeah, we just, we win if we find boss, which we have one left. I think that's game over though. We see a well played. There we go. Just like that. We uh, hand locked them out of the game. Once their hand was small, we took away the Crobat and the rest was history. But that'll be it for the video guys on the Malamar deck. Hope you guys enjoyed today's peaceful video on the deck as we chill out before Chilling Rain releases because we are kind of in a bit of a stale, a stale standard format right now as we await 
the beautiful chilling rain set to release and uh, i'm hell excited but yeah that'll be it for the video this deck played really well um i don't, honestly don't even know what i would change about it. i think this list was actually perfect like i thinking about it after playing with the deck i don't think i would make any changes to the deck like i maybe maybe nine energy instead of ten might be more realistic and then you can add like another card to the, i don't even know what else you'd add to the deck i guess maybe like a capture energy would be okay i guess a capture energy would be nice to see you have the ability to get more basics because if you can set up a sneasel malamar and type null in one turn that's pretty good uh, anyways thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe down below if you're new to the channel help me on the road to reaching 17 000 subscribers uh check out the socials my twitch my twitter and my patreon down below check out car cabin use code ldf and bye bye